Get ready for the countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Welcome to this week's edition of Brooklyn Junior High School News. My name is Kier and here are your upcoming events for January 30th through February 4th. On Monday, January 30th, there will be a girls volleyball game at home against Hoot. On Tuesday, January 31st, Brooklyn Junior High will be hosting a family math night from 6 o'clock to 8 o'clock p.m. All students from kindergarten through 8th grade are welcomed along with their family members. A free dinner will be provided and each chi child will take home a prize bag, so mark your calendars because we look forward to seeing you there. Also, on February 4th, the, the wrestling team will be competing in Deerfield, Illinois. Our upcoming birthdays for this week are Kira H. January 31st and Torrance F. on January 27th. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to, to you both. both. Next week marks the annual kickoff of Black History Month, which celebrates the many contributions African Americans have made that helped shape history of our nation. It all started in 1925 when Carter G. Woodson, an African-American historian, proposed Black History Week as a way to encourage people to learn more about black history. Then in 1976, black history was expanded to the full month that we celebrate today. For the month of February, we will remember monumental events from the Civil War to the election of our current president, Barack Obama, and history changers, such as Malcolm X, Rosa Parks, and Martin Luther King, Jr. For several weeks, Brookwood Junior High has been helping by supporting the Seeing Guy Foundation. Joshua had an opportunity to interview one of our very own substitutes, Ms. Ratliff. She is also a parent of two students within the district, Daniel and Rachel. Now we have Joshua and Ms. Ratliff to share more information with you. Students of Brookwood Junior High has been raising money for the Seeing Eye Foundation. Today we have with someone, someone with us who has a dog from the Seeing Eye Dog Foundation. Today we have with us Mrs. Ratliff. Hello, Mrs. Ratliff. Good morning, Josh. How are you? I'm doing fine in yourself. Okay, good. And um, what is the name of the dog that you got from the Seeing Eye? His name is Graham Ratliff. <laughs> okay, how old is Graham? Graham is two years old. Okay, and how has Graham changed your life? Well, it allows me the freedom that I would not normally have with the um, without Graham. It allows me to come to work, such as um, subbing, church, go to the store by myself, just the average everyday thing that everyone else does. It allows me to do it with him, so it would can it can be considered as freedom. Good. So, how do you go about getting the dog from this foundation? It's a little process. Um, first, you have to be diagnosed by a medical doctor that um, with a condition blind or legally blind, such as myself. I'm legally blind. And then you have to go to um, the school, which is the Lighthouse for the Blind, and they teach you how, to, which is called cane mobility. Cane mobility is where you travel with a white cane. From that point that they say you have successfully completed that class, then you can go on to begin to apply to the seeing eye. Once you have applied to the seeing eye, there's a questionnaire package, there's a, a physical examination that you have to go through, and along with a proof, a proof that you have finished the white cane um, class successfully. And then you come before before you are allowed to go to Morristown, New Jersey, they come t to you. One of the instructors will come to you with a harness and a pretend dog named Juno. And you will do what we call a Juno walk. And that's just to see your, um, to measure your, your stamina, your walk, and your 
pull for the on the harness. Okay, and if I'm correct, correct me if I'm wrong. So um, when he has on the harness, that's how he knows when he's working and not working. Yes. Okay. When does Graham have any free time? Graham has free time, which usually begins maybe about three fifteen or three thirty after the children get in from school, because mm -hmm. they'll take them around and run them around the yard or run them up and down the hallway. So Graham do likes to play. <laughs> oh yes, yes. So um, I heard that you're not supposed to pet a dog, try to feed it, or mess with it when it has a harness on. That is correct. Um, Why is it correct? When the dog is in harness, he is physically working. When you pet, when you pet or try to give him food or any other, di other things, that is considered a distraction. He is to be on the lookout and ready to go, move at, at a command. As soon as I pick up, the harness he is ready to go so if you're talking to him or playing with him or trying to give him food he is not alert or not at attention and that could cause a possible accident okay well thank you for your time mrs radliff thank you for having me and thank you graham hi my name is kaylani this week's art club created colorful glass frames we also have brandon and michael showing their artistic talent. today at art club we are making stained glass frames so basically we're taking tissue and gluing it down on the base frame. And here's what it's going to look like when we're finished. Our club meets every Monday after school till 4.30. Next up, we have Lauren, Aaliyah, and Cooking Club sharing with us the recipe on how to make delicious red lobster cheesy biscuits. Two cups biscuit, two thirds of a cup of milk, one and a half grated cheese, cheddar cheese, one half a melted butter, and one four teaspoon of garlic salt. Mix this well. Milk and cheddar until a soft ball forms. Beat vigorously for 30 seconds. Drop by raw until an baked baking and bake at 450 degrees, 8 to 10 minutes. Wait, mix butter and garlic and brush on rolls while still on the pan and hot.
Wednesday, January 25th, District 167 held our district-wide spelling bee. Aaron, a seventh grader from Brookwood Junior High, came in first place, and Hugo, a third grader from Hickory Bend, came in second. We were there to catch them in action. Your word is rat. Rat. R-A-T. Just say the word, spell the word, and then say it so we know you're done spelling. Your word is cup. Cup. C-U-P. Cup. That is correct. Your word is cat. Cat. And the word is pursuit. The word is behest. On January 13th, the wrestling team will be in Corosso, Illinois. Here are some of the highlights from those matches. <laughs>
buy all these things at the school store. Air freshener, magnets, mirrors, and dry erase boards. Brought to you by Brooklyn Junior High School. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Tune in next week. Bye.